I'm sure everybody remembers the free software song that was uh, written by Richard Stallman uh, quite a few years ago. And uh, John O'Bacon's uh, made a heavy metal version of it. Now, since I don't believe Rusty or Roy is particularly into heavy metal, uh, I will give my views on it before we cut to it, and you can hear it for yourself if you haven't already. Um, it's, not, it's not very heavy. I, I heard it before and from my desktop as well. It's, it's not too heavy. I quite, I quite enjoy it. Yeah, it's um. How, how do y'all classify Metallica over there? Well, uh, well, Metallica soft rock. I say. I'm, I'm okay. not a Metallica fan, so probably for the fear of being flamed to death, I would probably not mention my comments on Metallica. Um, but uh, it's certainly it's, it's a very good version of the original song. Um, John is a very talented guy. I think he's proven time and time again, and it puts me in mind very much of Megadeth. Which again, although we say the word heavy metal generically, it's uh, it's probably hard rock is probably the best way to describe it. But uh, without further ado, we'll we'll go straight over to that track, and you can listen to it for yourself and uh, check out the show, link in the show notes for this version, and also listen to the original one and let us know which one you think is better. And we're back. So, um, what else have we got on the on the list? Uh, well, one of the things, uh, since we mentioned patents, uh, I, and, I, and you know, I have a, an interest in the subject of trying to get rid of software patents. I uh, personally run a, a site uh, called Boys of Nouvelle for a while, and one of the things that we attempted to do back in the days was to stop the cases uh, of trying to extort money out of Linux uh, on a case by case basis. So, back in the days, it used to be just Nouvelle. Then it was Linspire, then it was Andros, and then we had things like Samsung and LG doing the same type of thing with Microsoft and agreeing to pay Microsoft for Linux. 
Uh, recently, did you hear about the lawsuit, the new lawsuit from Apple against Samsung? Because, of course, Apple is also very nervous about Linux doing well. And they, I believe, sued them in Korea now, uh, using uh, patents. Uh, and I know Rusty's got some interest in the, uh, in the subject of uh, patents and Apple and things like that as well. So I, I thought maybe he can... Uh, well, I, I, I disagree that the right solution is getting rid of patents altogether. However, there needs to be a lot more due diligence, especially in software patents, before you can get the patent. And I'm a big fan, especially in software patents. If you are suing someone over the software, then you should have to first go after the source of the software. In other words, like, if you want to... If you want to sue an Android manufacturer, you have to go after Google first because yeah. Google made Andro is distributing Android uh, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, it, basically, you can't go after people until you get a judgment from the source yeah. that's distributing because there, there's a reason they sue who they sue. They sue people who are large enough to have money but small enough to not be able to defend themselves. Uh, or conversely, those who have not much of an interest in defending the platform and, and actually exactly. being the president. So, where, where uh, Microsoft has been doing the same thing by going after companies like CleanStar and Xandros, and it's exactly. not actually going after the Linux Foundation, which has the OIM behind the open... Uh, and, they, and they should have to go after that source that A, has a vested interest, and B, has all the necessary paperwork, patents, trademarks, and so forth to actually legitimately fight it as opposed to somebody who's like, I have no stake in this, and it's cheaper to just cut them a check than do any work in this. Yes, that's what's been happening increasingly. The other thing is, of course, sending out trolls, because the trolls you cannot actually counter sue to deter. Uh, so if you could pass your patents to a troll uh, and pay sufficient amount of money to put a tax on your competitor, uh, the troll is just basically a proxy, and that's one of the hacks that they use now. And, and we know Microsoft auctions and patents to trolls, and uh, apparently, allegedly, based on the Linux. Yeah, and a lot of those get tried in West Texas, which yeah. is real favorable yeah. to that. Yeah, and uh, even the Lotsis uh, case, which gets huge amounts of attention now, against only conspicuously gets mostly targeted at the uh, Apple and uh, and Linux platforms are. Uh, the developers being affected by this are trying to challenge the patents themselves. If you look at the source of the patents, and uh, I know lots of people haven't done so, and there is lots of uh, commotion about it, it's actually the former CTO of Microsoft uh, who gave this patent uh, to them to, to sue these, none, none of those that have vested interest in Microsoft, but those who are tied to the competition of Microsoft. So again, it's it's just it's the I mean, patent trolls are not really the issue. It's just that they're just part of the they're just really the uh, you could say the symptom of the problem. And actually, well, no, and, and like the real issue here is like you're saying, if I can't out innovate my competition, I'll just sue them out of business. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, the reality is, and this is sad, Microsoft makes more money off of Android with the HTC settlement than they do off the phone seven. Yeah, well, they don't make any money with that. But if yeah, we, I think we spoke about this last episode, didn't yeah. we, Roy? Um, yeah. With the, yeah. Uh, with, with the Android, yes. Of course, as, as long as they release this thing called Windows Phone 7, uh, you couldn't technically call them a patent troll because they do have their own thing that they could claim, okay, well, this competes against us, uh, so we sue with patents over something we actually implemented it. As soon as they bury, just as they did with the Can and the Zune and the uh, Windows Mobile, as soon as they bury this thing called Windows Phone 7, all they become is essentially the, the mobile division becomes a patent troll uh, with patents just going after companies that actually make something. Uh, so I, I kind of quite look forward to them actually burying the products and then we can really say what we think of what they do and how they make money off the uh, phones and stuff. So. Well, anything else that's grabbed either of you two over the last uh, week or so? Well, Zagunz has been reviewed just, just now. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I know uh, Tim's been uh, planning to try uh, XFCE, I believe. 
uh, after it. Can you tell us about the experience you've had with uh, Gnome 3? I mean, I know even if it's negative, you might use it. I mean, I, I, I don't like this. Um, it's, it's